See, therefore, God is opening in us today a, a, a spiritual and a financial revelation. Be sensitive to the promptings of the Spirit. And then you will see the glory. You will see the glory. 14.12 I just mentioned the number, but I did not push through, no? Chapter, John chapter 14, verse 12. John chapter 14, verse 12. He says, Those who believe in me, if you believe in me, say with me, The works that I do, shall you do also. And greater things than this, shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Can you see the tremendous power given to you? Whoever believes in me, whoever. Whoever believes in me will do what I do, and even greater things than this shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Apply that to your business. Wow! I'll wait for you. Some of you are looking at me. That's you. Is that me? Yeah, that's you. They say that the average human being uses only about 10 to 12 percent of his mind's potential. Listen to this. This is powerful. And now if God will ask you, well, if you use 10, where are, where are the 90? You've been dissipating yourself. You drank too much. You complain a lot. And you, you, you dissipate your energy. You dissipate your finances. And sometimes dissipate your family, including your wife or husband. You fight. Focus. Everybody shout, focus. focus. Say it again. Focus. And when it says focus, be sure to know exactly where you are being led by this man upstairs. Art. He will lead you into all truth. Exactly to the thing. That's why your thinking, therefore, must be God's thinking. Oh, Archie, come on. I have no time. I have a lot of work to do. Four kinds of jobs, you know, I can hardly sleep. How can I read? That's the biggest lie in hell. That, you know, uh, Satan will tempt you. Because he knows that the moment you read this, you will see revelations you have never imagined before. You will think as God thinks. When you see your enemy, you're going to smile. I waited for some moments, you know. (laughs) Hallelujah. 6.27 of Luke, Dr. Luke. Matthew was a tax collector. Luke was a physician. Luke says, he says in in 6.27, St. Luke says, Love your enemies. Love your enemies. Say it again. Love your enemies. Say it again. Love your enemies. Love your mother-in-law. Love your mother-in-law. See, sometimes she is the testing ground of your patience. Could be, could be. And somebody told me, all right, love your mother-in-law. A lady told me, Father Archie, don't preach like that again. I don't like to hear mother-in-law. So I kept quiet for a year or two. But when the Spirit leads you, you're going to say it again. 
Very true. Very true. Yeah, I'm forgiven. All my enemies in business. Oh, yeah. Forgiven. 99 of them. <laughs> Except, and she said it in Spanish. Except, una bruja de mi vida. <laughs> Miss my God. Wow, over my dead body. <laughs> Sounds innocent. Your anger boiling inside. It comes out. See, it's of the heart, really. No wonder then that the money you've been asking for are all traffic. No, they stopped. All the veins are ready for bypass, heart bypass. They are all choked. The blessings cannot go through because you have been nurturing. <laughs> Such hatred in your heart for years without number. You've got to let it go. Simple and yet profound. Say with me, you've got to let it go. Say it again. You've got to let it go. Say it again. You've got to let it go. And then you will notice. You get younger and younger every day. More beautiful, more handsome, more healthy, and then your blood pressure begins to normalize. Amen. You've been looking for healing all around. All you have to do is say, I surrender. That's it. That's it. Amen. If your enemy will discover that you are so, so angry, so boiling, my God, she or he will jump for joy. Because he controls you. Amen. Amen. But, if you begin to smile and say, Alright, hallelujah, praise the Lord, thank you, Lord, I forgive you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, at least you said, I forgive you. <laughs> huh? Yeah, it, it goes slowly, Sister Pedro. It goes slowly. No, there are no instant saints or instant millionaires. No. <laughs> it goes step by step. Boy, it's dealing with your heart. And no wonder that Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is in your hearts. All right, that's right. It is in your heart. Not the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, the house of God is not in walls made by human hands or in hollow blocks and cement, but in the heart of every human being. Therefore, when you are right with the Lord, Ready. Ask, beg. Everybody shout, ask, beg. <laughs>